Well, our resident travel writer, Debbie Griffiths, is great at finding the best bits of New Zealand. Now, you've been exploring the southern coast of the South Island, yeah. is that right? Yeah, that's right. The Catlins Coast really does need to be right at the top of your travel to-do list. Take a look. Māori knew the area as Murahiku, or the tail end of the land, but flying to Southland, an area famed for its native bird sanctuaries and for its untouched natural environment. Just an hour's drive from Invercargill, you'll get to the Catlins Coast. It's an amazing taste of everything New Zealand's got to offer. And so, you know, recognised recently by uh, Traveller magazine is one of the top ten in the world. We're pretty conservative down this way, but we'll take that one. There's not a huge number of people, but it's just a wonder every 15 minutes, if not, if not even less. The Catlins is pretty epic, to be honest. The nuggets are wicked, and it's just these outcrops that just twinkle off into the sea. It's about the waterfalls, the clans, Perakanui, Niagara. You know, definitely got to talk about the penguins and the dolphins or the, the sea lions. You can get up close and see them alone, and they're not in, in cages, but they're just wild doing what they do. And sure enough, there's a sea lion right there. Not a rock, sea lion. This is the first stop on our road trip, Waipapa Point Lighthouse, just over 13 metres high and clad in a double skin of kauri and tōtara. Built in 1884, this is a work of art, one of the last major wooden structures to be built in New Zealand and identical to the one at Northland's Kaipara Harbour. Every so often you may hit a Southland-style traffic jam. And the scenic route is mostly unsealed, but to be honest, it just adds to the appeal. I think the, the philosophy is, is we want Southland to remain Southland. We're a frontier destination, we're on the edge. We want people to come see us, we want people to move here, but we've got to, we don't want to become a resort. We want to say charmingly Southland. Curio Bay is where dolphins come in summer, and at low tide you'll see the fossilised remains of an ancient forest. This is one of the most extensive and least disturbed examples of a Jurassic fossil forest in the world. It's a pretty special, special wee spot that just shows a podrocarp forest of millions of years ago. And now right beside it is a place where uh, the hoi hoi, the yellow-eyed penguin, um, nests every night and wanders up at dusk to feed the young ones. People from a city background, but just flawed. It is rugged, it's incredibly wild, and it is, you know, nature is in a battle with man. It's on nature's terms, and uh, you've got to treat it with respect. Um, a jacket is certainly helpful at, at some times, but at other times, you better make sure you've got your sunblock. I love that. What a beautiful, beautiful spot. And I love Warwick, your, your host as well. He looks like an incredible man. And you know what? All of the uh, Southerners that we met there were so hospitable. I absolutely love them. Southern hospitality, wonderful. It looked pretty chilly though. It was very cold. It's Southland, so yeah, it's cold. But in summer, I really want to go back. Go there in winter. I don't mean don't go because you have to go, but go back in summer as well. Camping at Curio Bay with the dolphins and the waves that he described. I'd love to see that. Oh, it just looked absolutely stunning. Another place I really want to visit in New Zealand. Yeah. Do they have the famous cheese rolls. I tried a cheese roll. He was describing it to me. Cheese, bread, roll it up. It's not just that. They do something to that cheese that makes it really <laughs> special. I don't know what it is. Try a cheese roll. They're fantastic. I have never had one of those, so I need to go to Southend and I need to try one of those cheese rolls, yeah. most definitely. A really rugged and wild part of the country. Stunningly beautiful. Uh, if you're planning a trip down south, get plenty of ideas on the Venture Southland website. Thank you so much, Debbie. Gorgeous no time.